Fifth graders, this is part two of our new narrative. Again, our topic is, imagine that you are one of the girls who did not make the team. Write a story about tryouts and Kim's performance from this girl's point of view. So you got to give that girl a name and you got to pretend like you are her. And you are trying out for the team and you notice Kim... And of course, at the end of the story, according to this topic, you did not make the team. So that's what we're working toward. Now, we've already, well, let's review again. Of course, the narrative, which is the stuff we went over last time. It's a story. you got characters. We're going to make it short, three to four paragraphs. And our outline, beginning, which we did last time middle, which we're going to do today, and then the end, which we're going to do in the next writing class. Then our beginning paragraph, these five sentences, we establish the setting, we establish the main characters, and then today we're going to do paragraph two, which are the events. Again, at least five sentences, you might need more than that, main events of the story. This is where the action is going to take place. <clears throat> so again, here is my introduction paragraph. I'm going to read through it quickly because I want you to see how the main events flow right from the introduction. I thought about it for a long time, but I made up my mind to try out for the soccer team. When I got there, I was already late. Karen, why are you late? Coach Walsh yelled. I'm sorry, Coach. I had the squirts. Get over there and run those drills with the rest of the girls. Coach then yelled. After the passing drills were over, we were all tired except for Kim. I have never liked her, so I decided right then she would be my enemy. I was going to ruin her day. All right, so our new paragraph. Coach Walsh divided us into two teams. I was happy when I found out that Kim was on my team. It would be easy for me to make her look bad. As the practice went on, Kim passed the ball to several teammates. On one such occasion, I thought, here is my chance. After Kim passed the ball, I bumped in her, into her to knock her down. She fell over, and I laughed in her face and said, try scoring instead of passing. Then I heard Coach Walsh yell, Karen, sit on the bench. So there you have it. And as you can see, a lot of the events I'm referring to in my paragraph are right from the story. Coach Walsh divided us into two teams. That's in the story. Um, let's see. Kim passed the ball to several teammates. That's in the story as well. I'm referring back to the story. So you need to do the same thing as well. You need to make sure that parts of the passage are in your story as well. Okay, but you can also add details like I've done in my middle paragraph about the main events. Now you may need more than five sentences. I think I have more than five sentences in both my paragraphs, the introduction and the middle paragraph, the event paragraph as well. And that's okay. All right, so you get on that. Take out your paper from the last class and you write your middle paragraph as well. And make sure you do a great job. What can I do that's crazy? Jab, 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 jab.